Welcome back to Workers and Resources. We're back in our Republic, extending our road and rail network towards the northwest, trying to reach the customs house in that area. We also have to move some construction equipment closer to here so that we can um, flatten out the rail network that we would like to place in this area. The railroad network has to go down into this area and pass along the river side. What else are we going to do today? Well, we are probably going to continue our metro setup. There's not much left to do, I think. Two stations were very easy to place. Actually amazed at how easy it was. And then we have to set up a third station next to the university. And see if everything works the way we intend it to. Alright, let's start with the rail line over here first. So the rail construction office can actually build a little bit. And then all we have to do is basically continue along this way. <clears throat> and climb up this hillside so we have to find a point where to start. This is also rocky, rocky terrain. We have to be at over 50 meters, I think, to make the bridge. I think the tallest bridge is like 48 meters. I don't actually remember. But yeah, uh, let the rail construction office do this for now. That should be good enough. If it wants to build more, it now can build more. Search radius should be set to maximum, so it builds everything. And we'll keep planning that out a little bit later. From the other side, we are already constructing infrastructure towards it as well. Let's take a look at the metro. We were going to tear down this um, waste storage here, which is only handling the repair station. I mean, in general, the repair station is probably going to go away at some point and be relocated. <clears throat> we could think about placing a large replacement repair station in the area. <clears throat> Maybe on the main road. That would be convenient. And get rid of all of this. Mm. Which would free up some space in our town center. Same for the technical office, could be relocated. The sewage unloading station, probably too. Um, the bus end station would stay. But yeah, these buildings and this end station. These these buildings would probably be removed at some point. This and the other end station would probably stay to organize the traffic for incoming and outgoing vehicles towards and into the town itself. Let's speed up the game. We really need to work on traffic. Adding more and more vehicles will not solve it. We need to keep our throughput high by having at most um, vehicles that fill up all of these roads. Adding any more will just slow down our existing vehicles and then we, we don't really have the efficiency anymore. Too many vehicles are not the solution. But the one-way road here seems to have solved a few things. We're only having incoming traffic here now and all vehicles from the bus stop have to go through the roundabout to leave. That creates a little bit of extra traffic, but I think it's the right um, idea. That means our roundabout is pretty much the indicator of how much traffic we have. We can just look at the intersections and see, okay, there's traffic here. 
Can we reroute some? What do we have here? Warehouse clothing. Can't really alter that very much. They have to go into the roundabout because this is only connected to the roundabout, the storage. Otherwise, we're also moving towards getting our own tourists into the town, for which we will need a better infrastructure. We have planned out two metro platforms so far. This one might get rotated a little bit before being placed. And the third metro platform is supposed to be going in here. And if it doesn't fit here, we will work on relocating the repair station setup completely. I think it's probably a good idea to rep to move that right now. Having the repair station on here. Hmm. What if we had the repair station on this thing? In this corner. That might be a good idea. It can then reach any direction from this area. So it kind of makes a neat entrance into this junction. I don't really want to have a, the town go into this directly. But it might create a lot of interesting traffic patterns through the junction. But if this is like a main road where vehicles will want to move in and out, it could turn into the main entrance to the town. And I don't think that's like maybe just incoming vehicles. Maybe vehicles coming into this would be accepted. Uh, these one way roads are also incorrect. This one needs to be that way. These are right. And these are right. And these are right. So we had a little bit of an issue here. <clears throat> Seems like one area was not accessible. They couldn't get from this road into here. Yeah, I think this will just be a repair station. With workers from Hellas North replacing our existing repair station. It'll be a large repair station dealing with everything in the surrounding areas. connection to the repair station here because it will be connected that way and every traffic do I really want to move traffic through this every vehicle requiring repairs will have to use this and then they can leave any which way to go back to town they would have to go this way this way this way and into town to get in from town they have to go this way, so entrance into town would be fairly quick. I think that's okay. I mean, it's not too difficult to relocate it again if it causes problems. We don't have imminently dangerous traffic going into the repair station and the volume should also not be too high. So let's see. Let's give it a try. also might want to turn this way so they might choose to go this way so I guess we're just gonna have a normal junction here and yeah this residential area will have to send workers here oh heating pipes I really wish 
we wouldn't start heating pipe construct we wouldn't start underground constructions when not in underground mode but it is what it is we'll start all of them and pause them so we'll get the repair station in I guess the warehouse could be on this side. I think a warehouse will still make sense. Although... Shouldn't every traffic be in this area then? I guess it doesn't matter that much. We could have the warehouse be here basically. I think I'll have the warehouse inside town, so we separate the traffic for resource delivery away from the main entrance and that is just for the vehicles that actually need the repairs. Could also use the warehouse for something else, but I think repair materials by themselves will be enough and therefore a small warehouse should be sufficient. does have electricity, but it will also need water, sewage, and a waste storage. And a lot of people can be employed here, which is okay. The other thing is potentially a repair station on that depot. But walking distances from the bus stop are not great. I might have to put back a uh, a traffic uh, uh, route of bringing workers to this area, which wouldn't be that difficult. Like we could have just one vehicle sending workers into a repair station here and they handle the repairs locally. Rail traffic is not coming out this depot that way anyway. So yeah, repairs in here for our very long trains might have to happen. Or we will put the repair station in Tabobina, which I also uh, suggested where we only have to put the depot here and the repair station already exists for all of the uh, farming vehicles would make a lot of sense and it's probably going to be our choice the pedestrian walkway can go I guess all the way to the warehouse that's fine walking distance wise we have enough workers here no problem this will also generate some employment opportunities because we do have a little bit of unemployment. We are 140 workers away from um, getting our next research point, which would be large hotels. Since I'm going to demolish everything here, I guess I could have omitted building all of this. But we'll see. If the metro platform can fit here easily enough, then we'll place it there. But more likely, we'll just build a metro platform with a with an pedestrian footpath entrance that already exists. Without too many underground tunnels, although underground tunnels are going to be part of it. I will also try and twist this a little bit. See if we can get a better angle here. So instead of hooking it up like so, which faces this way, ideally I would want it to place it similar to maybe this. Then we can connect from the side, and the corner to the next station wouldn't be as, um, as sharp. And I guess it also is kind of nice that not everything is 90 degrees. It's that we have things that are 45 degrees. So 
so a little bit extra ra rail distance, but I think it looks a little bit more realistic. But Metro can basically travel at full speed here. Construction-wise, this will not take much longer anyway. And it is basically done by the tunnel boring machine, the extra distance where the main time lies. We also have to think about how to connect our metro line to existing the existing rail network to actually build it. And we probably will have a depot, but not a rail construction office in this area. We will use our existing one. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. of the new repair station is ongoing. As soon as we have repair materials here and the other repair station basically has run out of most repair materials, we can shift the tasks over. Wait, why is auto purchase resources enabled? Oh, never mind. Or like, why is it an option down here? Didn't realize that always showed up even if you're in realistic mode. We need to get some ambulances. We'll only get four because I do intend to have helicopters. And then we can't really connect to this area the way I wanted to. But we can probably use a footpath on the backside here without too many problems. gonna hook it up to the kindergarten that is going to look like it's only intended for this area but people living here can also use it I just don't want it connected to the metro or this way has been torn down. Well, the waste storage, if that counts as a building. So let's see, regarding metro platform, that one would fit here. And the game just crashed. Unfortunate. We should be on the latest update, 25. Let's see, yeah, 8, 9, 25. Last autosave four minutes ago. And some things were lost. Gotta redo the footpaths at least. Hopefully not the whole metro placement. Not that it was difficult, but... Okay, metro has been placed, footpaths. Sure, we can do that real quick. A bit different than before, but similar in spirit. So yeah, I think this is how the metro will look here. So we could theoretically already start building the metro platforms. But realistically we just need to wait until the uh, we have the rail connection up for the tunnel boring and the tunnel boring will start from this side. Unless of course I wanted the rail to go through this area and tunnel bore a metro line from here all the way through the mountain. Which seems kind of ridiculous. 
Unless I wanted the metro stop in Karasna. Then we could consider that. If I put another stop here. And we do hook up Karasna to the metro network. That would be an option. That would be a challenge, wouldn't it? Hooking up all, all settlements will have to be hooked up to a metro network and low tech. So you can't expand until you have the metro set up. And then you have to hook up everything to the metro setup. That sounds neat. That sounds kind of interesting. And above ground metros would become a lot more viable. Would basically be like a train network. I mean, we will have like an inner city metro that only goes to this end station and then one metro line going all the way over here into another end station. The end station probably being next to this repair station, which seems... that seems really good, actually. If we have the metro end station here... Why does this look so... Why does this look so feasible and easy to set up? We'll have a fat above ground metro. Yeah, sure. We'll do it. We'll do that. We have to go over there, so it has to face towards the tunnel, kinda. And it's basically the area where our previous um, unloading for food, etc. was located. this one and then we might be able to find a footpath connection for this which I guess this will do and we can reach pretty much everything in the area and then the end station will have to connect here and from the end station we will need a connection to our rail network to tunnel bore and construct everything So I think, and let's place the other rail, uh, the other metro tunnel first. This is going to get quite ridiculous. Works like a charm. Then we go from this into the end station. Wait, we could also use this depot for that, but that's not that's not well placed for that, unfortunately. I think we need an extra depot, and the yeah, the trains will probably get repaired in the end station, the metro lines. That kind of means that on this side, all the trains will have to go to this end station, though. I am wondering if we could use this depot as well, but I don't think so. We would have to be above ground for that to work. That would be a Turning off point somewhere here, coming back in this area, and looping into the end station, I think. So this is really the good idea to have the repair station over here. What if we put the repair station on the repair, um, 
on the vehicle repair depot that we're just building. So the line from Hellas Old Town going into Hellas North and Hellas University would then have to travel all the way over here for an end station to get repairs. I think a more a better approach might be another end station and repair station over here. Maybe we could also switch to above ground at that point so we could have everything set up that way. But I guess the end station over here is fine. Uh, it can be handled by that by that repair depot. And it should be on the ground, that's fine too. Maybe we won't start uh, tunneling from this side. I thought maybe we would. Building in the way. Really. Because the power line goes down here a little bit. Sure. stop. It's not gonna go to Colata, I can tell you that. That's a little bit much. But yeah, tunnel boring from this side would be way easier. But the delivery from metros is maybe not the best. I mean, the tunnel boring could also be an extra line just going into this setup here, where we have the tunnel boring happening from here. It would need to switch to Metro. The power supply will happen inside uh, Hellas, not from here. But we could have a redundant setup where there is a, a power setup on this side. So this is only intended for construction, I guess. Demolition done. Yes, it is. Let's see. Metro platform. I think we'll relocate all of this and put in a put a metro platform with an above ground exit. Actually, no. Let's let's use the underground one because it will leave more space for residential buildings. And the game crashed again when I pressed F3. I'm not sure what's going on. I hope this stops happening soon. I pressed F3 to go to underground mode and it did not like that. I think it was the same thing I did before. We lost... Another 5 minutes. Jeez, this game. Autosave is getting a little bit... infrequent. Yep. Lost all of that. Well, let's put the end platform, the end station back in. Get the road connected. Don't build that. Let's see if the tunnels maybe line up nicer now. Probably not. Yep, yeah, same thing. They line up a little bit worse. We'll twist the end station to make it face towards this direction then. Where we can probably get the the connection without problem. There we go.
Let's see. We will use the metro with output. And it crashed again. Same thing. Well, if that is a reproducible case, then I will drop a save game now and see if it always happens because that is... It's a good thing because it can probably be fixed, but it's also a bad thing because I probably won't be able to finish planning this. So we'll repeat all the steps, go to the space, drop a save, and see if it happens. And then I guess we will have to postpone the metro construction a little bit. Uh, we need the end station about that way. Get the road construction in place. Get the metro tunnel in place. Start this, start this, pause this. Go over here, see if it happens again. So I'm going like this. I'm removing, I'm leaving the footpath here and see if that, this may be part of it. save and then we'll save again over our normal save just so I don't accidentally overwrite this it's a zip file save so it'll take a little while zip file into the cloud because I really like this run and I don't want to lose it so I'm uploading it to the steam cloud If this happens again right now, then I can hopefully submit it. Keep the game running, remove that. Get the metro platform without footpaths, place it here, F3. Of course, now it doesn't work anymore. Well, that's also okay. Um, we can continue planning then. must have been a very specific thing that I always did the same way and now that I tried to reproduce it I didn't do it correctly anymore. Regardless, let's see if the tunnels will connect through here. The answer to that seems to be yes, but we have to be aware of our underground constructions, uh, pedestrian tunnels and the like. But we'll be able to get through that, it looks like. From this side, we can leave this way and then hook up somewhere here. As long as we get past the other pedestrian footpath, it looks like. We have to be a little bit shorter to get through that. Let's try directly what's in the way I don't know oh I know what it is it's the elevation because we're changing elevation here so we have to place this first for going across. And then we change elevation here. And we have to get past this footpath. I think here I will actually snap the metro lines together to get the desired result. It's 
going to be multiple construction tasks, but I think this will be better. Okay, that'll hook up this area. Let's drop... no, let's not do a save, it's fine. Let's get the pedestrian tunnels hooked up. We do have a robust network here, I would say. Although the metro platform does not really line up with any of them. Hmm. I am considering redoing the orientation of this. We can hook up this way, but this will most likely get in the way of the metro tunnel. I don't really have the room for an easy exit in this area either. I think I'll turn the metro platform so it faces either 45 degrees or 90 degrees and then we just have to have a sharp turn into another sharp turn and footpath connections to this side this side and also dedicated exits might be easier if the game allows me to place that if i can just say i would like to have it this way um, if it doesn't then we will wait until we replace the repair station We'll do that. I think it'll be better. another end station here. I don't think there's gonna be another metro station but you never know. This area over here can still be developed into our town. Old Town North University and then I don't know what that one would be. Should I just place another stop? Probably not. That's a little bit against the spirit of trying to retrofit developments after the fact. But if we have to re uh, redo the metro line, I don't think buses would be able to cope with the demand then. That would be... That could be disastrous. Which would make it fun. Rail construction on this side ongoing. Already pretty far. So I'll have to go all the way around here. Getting on top of that river into this area. How's the rail construction here? PDK doing good work, I presume? We don't have that many workers in the rail construction office. So it's slow, but it's continuous. That's fine. We should connect them within 50 years before the EDK needs maintenance. So, we'll be fine. And the road construction. Bridge is done. Road construction mm -hmm. also ongoing. Let's keep going. 
we'll have to move road construction equipment, flattening equipment over to this side so we can continue with our road planning. It'll have to go past the farming settlement and the farming spot along this way through here and then also get a bridge across somewhere. Has to be at a decent elevation level so we need to be higher than I think we need to be at least 50 meters high to make it work. Especially since the beam bridge does have a little bit of a beam below it. So if the bridge is at 50 meters, it's at like 48 or 47. Repair station is set up. Don't allow repair cancel. We're gonna shut it off for now. No repair of vehicles in the building. Actually, we can leave that on then. We just don't let any vehicles go here until we have the rest set up. I need a steel delivery truck. We are going to use the one from this repair station. Wait until unloaded. You can basically take up a spot here. It's fine. And then the other vehicle will unload at the warehouse. And search radius wise, we are covering most of the town. Not all of Hellas Hills. But there isn't a. Wait. Dang it. There are a few buildings which are out of range. We do have a repair station over here though. Which is also not covering them. So we might have to have a service road that goes into town a little bit faster and hope that it connects then. I don't know if it can measure the distance before the road is complete though. Hello Stefan. Enjoy your lurk. Thank you for joining. This is a little bit at an angle, it looks like. Unacceptable. I guess we won't know if this now reaches up here, but since it doesn't have to go through the roundabout to get to the area, I would imagine that that road connection would be sufficient in providing enough access. Uh, we should maybe also not let workers in here without drinking water. And uh, the waste storage. I think we'll build it. We'll leave everything scheduled to be built here. We'll also give them a monument for the area because they are important to how the Republic is working. The truck bringing repair materials will have to be relocated as soon as our warehouse is done and then we can let either let this repair station run dry but most more likely we will pick up the resources from here and slowly move them out of this area because I don't want to start a repair and then have to cancel it midway probably making a vehicle really 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 likely to have a breakdown until the next repairs in about a year I think we'll disallow repairs in building. 
we will turn this one off. We will relocate all vehicles over. And s okay, maybe not relocate all vehicles, but uh, looks like they're still getting repairs. We'll move one vehicle back. I wonder if it just cancelled the other repairs. Might have. But yeah, let's just move all of the equipment out. Get the other repair station up and running. Don't need aluminium. The other equipment will be set up in the same way. 35. Uh, yeah, 25, 30, and we don't need that much fabric, 5%, and the extra 5% go here, so 35, 35, 25, and 5. Get our repair truck, and give it its new destination. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have the warehouse just yet, but it'll get it soon. Okay, you can repair the construction vehicles here. But after that we really need to start relocating things, so this is the last vehicle you will do. have enough repair material to finish the job. Warehouse is done. So we have to relocate that one too. This repair station is out of order. And line vehicles can now repair inside here. We do have repair material now, but we need to actually deliver it to this one. Is that right? It's not. Plastic, okay, plastics needs to be 35, and you need to be 25. Now we have an equal amount of electronic and components and plastics, more mechanical components and a little bit of fabric here and the truck doing deliveries will be told to send everything to the warehouse unload whatever you have then wait until unloaded for mechanical components and that should be good enough to run the repairs basically because the truck has been set up in a way that it mostly carries mechanical components which are the main repair component but the other materials are also carried in equally good amounts and since we're not since we're completely filling the storage up we should always have enough repair materials i would guess we'll open up the repair station for business and then probably grab a vehicle to empty out the other materials Or should I just be really weird and just bulldoze it with everything inside? That strikes me as a little bit unreasonable. Alright, you know what? Construction materials. 
After the repair station, you will go to this repair station and load steel from here first. So we'll basically use up this steel, then we'll go to the repair station material if it still needs to load. And at some point we can remove that last stop. I mean it will get removed as soon as it's empty and we remove the building. And the same will have to happen for uh, this vehicle. After you unload, go to this repair station first and load any material from inside. We will set the specific types of material. At some point everything will have been removed and then we can remove the building and the building when it goes away should also remove it from the other from the lines because it doesn't exist anymore. Should make it nice and simple I hope. We shouldn't create any waste here anymore. So removing the waste storage in the area is also possible. Then the footpath. And then we'll have a lot of extra space. We should also relocate the technical service, I guess. This one, however, is for the town completely. I'll relocate that one. And it gets out of range up here. There would be a problem. We can't have it on this side. We'll wait what happens when the road construction completes and see if it is in range. Because if it then is, we could also put the technical office over here. Towards the edge of the map. Of the town, I mean. materials in place, we just have to wait for the repair station to at some point run out of materials, which will take a while because of the steel, but that's okay. This isn't urgent, the metro line will have to take a while to be built, and I guess we could start building it from this side, as I already said. Without a depot, without anything, just go into this and build it. Delivering metros into this area would be very convenient though. So I guess we will have an, uh, an outgoing line from here that hooks up into the end station from this depot. So we'll deliver the metros into this depot and then there will be a specific route out of this. That will be electrified. And then go into the platform. But where and how? You can have very sharp corners with the metro. I'm thinking of like going into this mountain and then basically doing another loop and hooking up in here. This route is only really needed for bringing metros into the line. Shame we can't cross it above that. I mean that road was a road that we are using for upgrading our roads in here so they have a path to go around everything. 
and this can definitely be removed again. So we'll have the route go through here and turn a normal train line. and a metro line together into a metro tunnel then go then goes in here hello t-rex welcome can i make this an above ground end station and just use above ground train lines i don't think so So the idea is basically this. This is only for construction of the whole ordeal. Snap, thank you. Not sure what it is having problems with. It might be that uh, it's just not low enough. Yeah, it is going up here. It shouldn't do that. It probably was snapping to the uh, to the depot and changed its elevation. Yeah, that is much more. That is much better. And then over here we have. An elevation change. So we need to go to this side. Snap here. And then get this connected. This is a, a raised rail line, so it shouldn't really have that many problems with it. I guess maybe the it doesn't go down fast enough. Seems like it doesn't like this terrain that well. This is Metro. That means we will merge that into a Metro railroad that goes to the depot. And for that we might have to turn... We will have to remove the road. But it basically should cut across here, if possible. Right, that doesn't work because, well, um, can't cross metros through that. Then we might have to rem make the tunnel go underneath this bridge to get the line to go through here. Oh right, it also can't go, it can't go um, over that road anyway, it needs a direct connection. That makes things more awkward, of course. But yeah, this bypass road is a temporary thing. It's not really intended to stay here. 
But we will have to basically go down the mountain with the metro and then hook up in a tunnel that is further down. Use the... Oh, no, 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 no. Use the uh, bridge to clear the gap. So we'll have... But how do we then get to the normal train line? I guess through this corner? That seems awkward. But it's only for rail construction of the tunnel network, I guess. This might be too steep. This whole setup might be a little bit too much. I think it'll, it'll probably better if we just start developing it here then. Because we can just have a, a depot right next to a, an end station. And I wanted to use maybe this construction, this repair station for it. probably put another end station right behind Hellas University Metro. Then we can have one running from Old Town to North to University. And also expanding this in the future will be easier because we can just continue building behind the end station without interrupting the traffic flow. But it'll probably not be the way where trains get repaired. I do want to extend this at some point. Public transit, maybe something that we could learn in Canada. It seems we are having issues with that. Yeah. That is... It's expensive, it's tough. It takes a, takes a while to build. Uh, we definitely have to... Are we building this right now? I thought I paused that. Well, you can build that, sure. I thought I paused all of these. Train Depot. Followed by an end station and a way to go around for the rail construction. So metros would get delivered here. Maybe this is a little bit much. Well, how am I going to get the rail connection through here? The tunnel, I guess? Yes, yes, why not? Directly into... Directly into the road. How am I going to get the metros over? I think there might be another... I guess we could have a tunnel going underneath the river that goes all the way over here. But it has, it has to come above ground, I think, for us to switch from... Can we switch from normal tunnel to metro tunnel? No. Tunnel to tunnel is not allowed. 
All the components are gone. We just need to wait for the steel to get removed and then we can get rid of the old repair station. And that provides a nice bit of employment to our people. Speaking of, we have 17,500 plus citizens, meaning we have 13 researchers in total, 7 times 2,500. And I will immediately spend that research to go towards hotels. So we will have to get tourism study. get the advanced hotels set up and then with a later research we will get uh, West Western tourist visas which take twice as long as the Eastern ones so let's get the tourism study going I also have issues in my city with biomass heating. The district heating for the government installed a tiny one on megawatt thermal and they can't even figure it out to run it for more than three weeks. It didn't help that they didn't listen to us and installed some garbage from Sweden designed in the 1980s. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Hmm. So they're going through the whole experimental phase first, I guess. this? Is this from this road? Creating... I don't even know. Yeah, when we told them that they should not take the road that they proposed on the air permit. is somewhere here get the metros delivered by pulling them with a diesel engine into this depot from this depot they would need a metro line to go out and into the metro network which could be a tunnel which will have to most likely be a tunnel but before that the tunnel would start at about maybe here a little bit further it looks like so we would have the tunnel go into the network approximately here. Before then, we would have a regular um, metro line and then a line going past this. Which will turn into a regular rail line on this side. So the rail construction equipment can also move in here. And then they would all go onto probably a single rail line, if possible, and find a way out and connect to our rail network. And then this will have to go to the end station in Hellas, or if we pre-plan another metro platform already, which I don't think I will do, into that one and then go the whole way. I think we're just planning what we have right now. If the town extends towards another metro platform, then that will be something we will do, do at that point, but not earlier. This is kind of fiddly. But I think this is going to be fine. Then they can repair here. Um, there's not going to be a repair station 
next to an end station at that point. But I want let me let me read the tutorial for repairing metros real quick. If they can repair in depots. I guess it's under trains. Airplanes, ships, trains, trams and trolley buses, road vehicles. I think it will automatically go to the depot, but I'm not sure. We would have to test that. If it doesn't work, then we will have to build a repair station next to the end station in this area. Tons of steel. How fast are we going to use that up? Where's the truck? Uh, 17 tons. So it can already go and pick the next one up. That will empty out the repair station, and then we have enough that we've removed all of the materials to get rid of them. Excellent. We also have the road set up, so let's see if we can now reach Hellas Hills. Better, but we still can't reach over here. Which leads me to believe that we might need a repair station in this area as well. Only needs to be a small one. I don't think this repair station can reach either because of the setup of the tunnels. This one can reach. Okay, then this one will handle the repairs. So Masca will actually provide some repair services for what's Hellas Hills. Then we don't need another repair station. Then it'll be fine. Why did I remove that one? That one needs to stay because it has an important infrastructure attached to it. I told them what to write and the design would build operate contract, but decided not to take an EN3035 certified boiler. That's what you get with the lowest bidder. I'm still amazed how well this game is done. Never mind the other competing game series from Paradox, this feels like the right hybrid between trade economy and city building. Yeah, I mean the other one is much more approachable. This takes a while to get into. City Skylines. Gonna get a new version soon. This is more like you have to plan everything through. City Skylines basically is, or at least was, self running. Also looked quite cartoonish, which you might like or might not. It did have a lot of modding. I don't know if there were any mods that made the game more difficult. The one thing that annoyed me was mostly the the fact that performance in City Skylines really rapidly degraded. So I think if we had, if we had the same setup in City Skylines, we would already be at 20 FPS. Right, better hotels. Just for planning. We do need the visas to move people in, but we can already then think about planning an area here for tur for tourists to live in. Okay, I never really built big cities, mostly agricultural forestry. Yeah, then it is probably fine. But as soon as you get over or near like a hundred thousand people, things started going really badly. No matter what PC you had because of how the, how the game... well, the, the version of the game engine and the uh, insistence to never upgrade. But hopefully City Skylines 2 will be the salvation for most people. I think it'll probably have a lot of DLC though. We should also build that water pipe, otherwise we're not getting water delivered to this area, except by truck. 
Let's hook that one up, please. No wonder the water consumption was so low. I clicked, I think, this pump and it was like... Really, really low. No water here. Yeah, I guess it will be the metro setup. Does of course intrude upon our idea of having helipads in the area, so maybe the footpath connection behind the hospital will not happen and we will just have the helipads. I do have to think about this though. We need basically the other metro built, or at least placed, so we can figure out how to hook it up. This can already be done now. Can't. I have to wait for the repair station to go away. We'll connect it to this footpath. We'll have like an extension going that way the underground tunnels to the right probably that way maybe no wait this way or this way two tunnels here and a tunnel here i think this way is probably right it'll be a little bit difficult hooking everything up because of uh, messing around with the footpaths and tunnels and everything, but it should work. We'll move the metro platform back a bit, like so. And then this area over here, when we remove the sewage unloading and the technical office, I guess the technical office we can already plan since we know we can reach most areas here. Can the technical office reach everything on hills? Yes, yes it can. So that definitely needs to be accounted for. The repair station currently doesn't. I'm not sure if a technical office in this area would reach, but I guess we can try and see if it does. No one can walk into the repair station currently, because, well, the road entrance is very far away. Oh, they're still trying. Okay. Seems like they could walk into this one. But I'll give them a bypass entrance right now, for the time being. I'll remove this section of road, hook it up here, and see if we can make this our new technical service for Hellas. Construction train, rare construction vehicle getting repaired right now. The next road upgrade is done. Let's go ahead and do two more. Then we'll have three more sections and two more sections, and then we're done. Just have, just gotta be a little bit cautious not to upgrade too many at the same time, because it could disconnect some buildings and lead to catastrophe. We're at profits of currently 8 million US dollars per month. Um, I am not sure what's going on with the price of boards being at 3,300 US dollars now. I have not changed anything in regards to... <laughs> what the hell is going on? Uh... I'm... I'm at a loss for words, I... I don't know. Why does it not go through the years? This year? Like, what's this supposed to be? Like, someone please tell me. Why is the price going up? What's happening? It 
It's... It can't be oil. It must be something else. I... I don't know. I would say that's a bug. We don't have any money issues anymore. Definitely. For good or for worse. Well, we have one grain storage hooked up, where we have crops inside. We have our refueling point. I guess we could run a very long train, at least to the silo. Can't really export right now. I think we're gonna get a very expensive eastern locomotive with a lot of engine power. They will only be able to run 95 kilometers an hour, but at least they will be able to pull the cargo at a hopefully a reasonable speed. Electric trains would be the alternative, I guess. More engine power. Do I want to electrify this whole re this whole network though? Seems like that would be not in the spirit. I mean, it would be a modernization at some point. We're gonna start with a diesel lo locomotive. With the highest um, engine power. For that we will have to export some steel from the west to the east, which I think we can afford to do that. And then we'll have to assemble the train. Actually, I have to do some math to figure out how many train cars we can get to haul crops. We're definitely going to use western train cars if it allows us to haul crops. And we have specific, um, we have specific, specific cars for that. 81 tons at 17 meters. Let's do the math. Calc. 450 divided by 17 is 26.4, so 26 times 17 is 442 meters. That means it's, I think the other um, train is probably longer than 8 meters, but let's take a look. So I would imagine we can have like 25 train cars. It is 37 meters. So we have to calculate for... We have to divide 413 by 17. 413 divided by 17. We can have 24 train cars. Twenty-four train cars. One, two, three, four, five, five colors. So each one gets about five. We'll get one less of the gray color. One, two, three, four. That should be our 24 train cars. And once we can buy the train, we'll hook them up from the customs house and try and assemble the long train inside our depot. Currently not able to export. This customs house does not allow 450 meter long trains to export here. But we can keep it parked at the um, silo just for looks, I guess. We'll fill it up once and bring it back to the depot to see if everything runs fine. Uh, wait, this is also not really intended to 
have 450 meter long trains now, is it? We do have to set up a proper depot first in this area that can handle that, where we have to assemble the train. I think I'll place another depot here. Will it block itself running the loop? It can't really run the loop, the loop is only for this. Hmm. If the train heads out here, tries to do a loop, it would not block itself. But then we could also have the loop over here instead. I mean, this rail construction is pretty much done and we can think about hooking up some signals. But we realistically need to get all the way across here. I guess we need to build everything. Because we otherwise don't really have a way for switching lanes. We can. We also at some point have to increase the amount of grain being produced, but I didn't want to have grains, grain rotting in the fields. So just letting it slowly fill up with some farm that is underproducing a little bit. Okay, so that is a concern. No, wait. We can assemble it here. What am I talking about? The train doesn't stick out of this uh, of the depot. It just you, you assemble it inside and then it moves out. That is fine. No, we can use the same depot. That is okay. So let's get the train. Getting worried about too much stuff, that doesn't matter. Well, it did not like me clicking that purchase button. I'm not sure why the game is crashing so much on the new version, but that's unfortunate. Also now it's stuck saving. Let's try one more time. I'm also getting some drop frames. I hope my stream is still okay. Uh, well, it seems like it's launching. My network is affected. Cloud state is uploading. What's going on? Why is Steam Cloud being mad? Hmm. Play anyway. Let's see if it works. Doesn't want to launch the game anymore. Let's cancel that and start it directly from the file system. Let's see if that works. Set up. Yep, that seems to work. Let's do that instead. Load save. Last auto save. Six minutes ago now. Great. I hope we already have purchased all of our train cars, but thankfully we don't have to do the math again if we remember what we purchased. We have not purchased the train cars in that situation yet. Cloud error for workers and resources, yes. Alright. Cargo wagon value. Okay, that should be all 24 of them. And then... 
value diesel locomotive this one okay we still have to run our steel train before we have the money for it the steel train is on its way And this setup will need to be changed so we can actually hook up from this depot into the tunnels. We might have to move the depot back a bit. I think the tunnels... If we could get the tunnels here we would have enough room for a helipad. We'll try and plan for that instead. Let's see, helipads are not that large. Yeah. So it could be, if it is past this uh, street lamp, it would be fine. Excellent, we can get a footpath connection through this and that will restore access to the repair station and they don't have to walk along the asphalt road here. We can use the sidewalk. Okay, back to tunnels. Metro. Further. That seems about right. We can get underneath the heating pipes, that is okay. And then we'll have to figure out a place for the depot. Where we can get both to these tunnels and outside through this area. I just thought the game crashed again. Train line, a train line go through here and then we have to see if we can hook up the metro too steep of an angle then we'll move the tunnels over a little bit as I said the street light should be fine here a little bit too long it looks like then place one here think about hooking this up. This is our metro line. This needs to be that way. And then we have a single rail line that comes through here where the rail construction vehicles will have to get into this. So basically we need to have a line that goes through this. And this. Then it connects into a regular rail line back here. And we can have this be a metro if it isn't already. I 
I think it already has to be, otherwise we couldn't have joined these together, could we? Let's redo that. Sure, let's put it a little bit at an angle. That looks pretty good. The rail construction vehicles should be able to then go into the tunnel and also build this section before developing the area further. And now we have to, as a last step, find a way to get out of here. And I think it will be a very large tunnel, or two very large tunnels. I'm not sure about one or two yet. One tunnel would be enough. Yeah, I think it'll be only one tunnel. We will therefore redo this section of track. Where we switch over from metro to rail line. And the rail construction vehicles could potentially park their train over here. So there's basically going to be the signals here and this is all metro. I don't know if the rail construction vehicle can actually build through the depot, I don't think so. That would require testing. And I don't think you can deliver vehicles to an end station, they have to go to a depot. And after here we will need another end station and then an end station in front of the metro platform by Hellas University. And then, in theory, we, we could tear down the other metro line and hook up another metro platform at that point. Seems like all of this got demolished. This is a footpath to our monument, that is fine. Let's get our metro platform in. I wanted this to face in this way, I think, for the pedestrian entrances. here. Probably a footpath here and getting across this area, but this should be plenty of accessibility for all of this. And then we need to worry about the underground footpath here, getting another exit in this area. Something like that, maybe. Doesn't really have to be that dramatic. I'll do something like this.
we won't build the metro platform yet. But we can hook up all of the auxiliary buildings. And then the metro line will have to hook up into our other metro platform. And we have to take into account the elevation changes. Otherwise things are not going to work out. tunnel. Don't really want to go up or down for this, I'm just going to go around it, I think. Although in the future that will probably lead to problems. No, the metro is going to be the way it is and I don't think there's going to be any more footpath tunnels anyway. It should be okay. the wrong side. I guess we'll make the same sections for this side as the other one. And this one's gonna be a little bit interesting but hopefully not too difficult to hook up either. Okay. That should be the metro line. We will need an end station here. I hope they can go to the depot to repair. It doesn't say for the metro. I believe they will will be able. If not, uh, there will be an end station right after this platform where we could have the option to building another repair station. So basically we will have a metro end station here. And there might be a repair station in the area, just saying. And maybe in the future, another metro platform here. To be determined, I guess. from that will probably come by metro where we might have to have one footpath go across here and then we'll directly hook up here for now that would be the current metro network no metro plant here. I think the town will be up at most here, but I mean we could have buses carrying them to a metro platform and the metro platform distributes it. We just need to basically make sure that our inner city bus route doesn't get overwhelmed. Replacing this with another metro is going to be way more difficult because we would have to shut down the metro at that point. could also add another repair station. Oh no, this is already at the repair station. Yeah, we planned that one. Okay, so all we're lacking now is the connection here. The tunnel to go out. I did not test this before planning any of this, but I believe it should work. We just have a tunnel go through here. Hopefully we have enough room to connect all the rail lines. Seems like that could be difficult. Let's say about here.
when we would go all the way through this area and come back up and just have a rail connection here somewhere in this area. Does this hook up to everything? Yes. This is too sharp. No problem. Let's try that way. Not, oh, it's a, it's a wrong tunnel. Right. That way, please. Yes, yes, yes. Should probably work. Okay, so we have a single tunnel for construction vehicles and delivering metros to the area. The construction vehicles themselves can wait on this passing track if there's multiple. I'm not... Yep, yeah, thank you. And... Yeah, or... Back up to here. Get the regular train line to go so long that it can hold an EDK in the future. And then it connects into the metro track here. signals here. Or do we? I know we, can, we kind of do. Then we might have to extend this further. I'm not sure if the EDK is that short. 52 meters. Sixty-three meters. If it can build through the depot, that would be the best case scenario, because then we can just save ourselves this effort. But I don't actually remember, so we are just going to plan for this, because it might not be possible. Uh, the tunnel is sticking through the road. We can't have that, unfortunately. This would be fine. This one would not clip through the road. It starts doing that here. I did not look for that. This is okay. Will it hook up again? Probably. The auto save when you drag something. I'm building very close to the depot. It's leading to other problems.
precision engineering. But yeah, maybe we won't even need these two rail lines. The depot might be enough. I'm not 100% sure. Oh god, it's clipping through it a little bit. I didn't see that. Uh, come on, game. Alright, let's look at the tunnel this time. Actually, we can probably lower this a little bit. Give us a little bit more room, maybe. That's too, no, too close. Can we move this closer? Something like that. Okay, now it only clips in a very rare instance. So if we get Underneath the heating pipes will be fine. Only clips, yeah. That. So if we go to the transformer. We're in business. Let's check again. No clipping. I removed all of these tra uh, train lines. Great. This time, it's hooked up. Just have to place the signals again. And here's the transfer from rail line to metro. Which hopefully will work. We will only build this section of train track. Where's the other... This one. And there needs to be another section here, so we'll pause that. Yeah, that one. That's the tunnel. And from the tunnel, we will have to move to a location where we can go above ground and hook things up. Maybe... Maybe just behind the... Maybe here of the main line, a single tunnel basically. But there's no real waiting platform for them in this area. Maybe to the side of the uh, of the uh, warehouse. Past tunnel. Stop the grid snapping. Keep your oh, stupid snapping. That'll do. And then a regular rail line here with the ability to wait a little bit, I guess. So we have an incoming line with uh, some waiting platforms. At most, there should be only two trains heading here at all times, I think. So just extending this out a little bit should be enough. And if it'll work, we'll see. I'm not 100% sure. We will move this main line or... I guess main line is fine. We do have enough waiting space. Shouldn't cause any issues, hopefully. 
put some signals here. Then there's a crossing, so they can build both sides if we allow them through this area. And then there will be a waiting platform for incoming trains and outgoing trains is the other line. Okay, that is the plan for our setup. Any clipping here? No, that's fine. I mean, I could make it look a little bit better. It's a very steep corner, isn't it? Actually, it's, it's just for delivery, it's fine. We'll get that set up. And see if it works. And then we also need to build the depot, which now is definitely in the right spot. And there go the weird gravel road sections. And then we can deliver some metro uh, vehicles here by pulling them from the customs house with a train to the to the depot itself. And we'll try and see if we can construct through this with rail construction vehicles or if they will need a way to go around. I think they will need a way to go around, but I'm not 100% sure. Maybe things have changed. I haven't built metros in a while. Also, I was planning on full speed. Um, so, wood exports are still going up. We're now making about 15 million per month just from lumber exports. I think it's fair to say that Somaska is paying for itself. I think it's pulling its weight in our Republic. Seems to be seems to be a nice a nice village to have. Let's get the highest powered engine diesel locomotive. I am going to save the game because I am worried that it might crash when I click that button again. We'll save it locally so it's quicker. Because I also currently don't trust Steam Cloud. Diesel engine, total uh, value, this one. Oh yeah. Immediately crashed. Good thing I saved, I guess. Because then I might have a reproducible case about a rail crash. This might be a very short stream, if it keeps crashing like that. I think I think some people said that there was a rail crash when they purchased trains. So this might be the same thing. We can purchase it at the customs house, but we can't relocate it, probably. There might be a glitch in the pathing. So we'll try it. We will be able to purchase the train at this customs house. Maybe it's fucked if there's a vehicle standing inside. Diesel locomotive, total capacity, purchase is fine. We'll pause the game. We'll grab the diesel locomotive and ask it to move to the depot. And the game crashes. All right, so a very long train uh, will have to take a while. Thankfully, we have all the rail construction equipment already in place, but we'll keep going for a little bit longer, maybe half an hour to an hour. But we won't be able to assemble the long train in this way. That is unfortunate. We could also get another of our train to pull the train from the customs house. I do know that that works. Okay, so I guess we'll we'll do 
We'll grab the train by pulling it out of the customs house instead. Sorry about all of these crashes. I'll send a report in after the stream. We'll get our shunting locomotive, which just needs to go here, load the train, and bring it to the closest depot, and from there everything should be fine again. If this happens with metros, it doesn't really matter, because metros we will have to pull from the depot any uh, from the customs house anyway. But we don't have the setup yet to move the metros in. So right now I guess this is the way that we have to purchase trains. Thankfully we already have a shunting locomotive. Pick it up. Alright, what's going on? Wait until loaded. Go back. It's a new train. Is it because the customs house is too small? Customs house might be too small. So I guess. If we have the small pig locomotive, which I'm pretty sure we scrapped, it's probably already gone. Yeah. The pig locomotive might have been able to pick it up, but I guess we won't be able to get a train right now. Never mind then. At least the rail construction can keep going. We will have to assign it to the task though. I think we have a decent amount of workers in that. So waiting platform into a single tunnel. Into the metro access preparation area. Patent pending. No depot here yet. But we have a depot before this, and maybe at some point we have to remove this tunnel to extend this whole setup. And a repair station over here, maybe. Not sure what goods it was out of. Probably meat, because of the lengthy delivery routes during winter. There's a lot of shoppers here. Queuing up. Let's increase the amount of sellers here. Um, this one is also at capacity, so we definitely need the shopping center to... Or another grocer, but I think a shopping center would be the right approach. Which means we need to set up uh, this building. And that one needs... A little bit more room in front of it, because we also need to have the warehouse area in front of it. forklift garage into a freezer and a warehouse in front of this building. Which, all things considered, will not be that difficult of a task. The meat can then be delivered directly to the freezer. Ah. 
and the warehouse will be on a constantly looping route. This is the warehouse size we're using. I think I want to try something to maybe save a little bit of space. I'm thinking of um, setting up the forklift garage diagonally. It worked pretty well with the um, with the water and sewage connections. So maybe if we just go at a diagonal angle and then have this one be straight again, it might save a little bit of space if the connections work out. So it's not as far back up in this area. Let's do the warehouse first. This one. No footpath entrance on that side, that's going to be the attached warehouse and then can we get the freezer here to hook up preliminary studies seem to indicate that yes this will work we'll use that as a setup Looks pretty compact, I think. Then we need to get the road connection to go past here. So this way, and then a straight road section here. And there might be a cliff right on the other side. I'm not gonna flatten this hill that much. But I would like to get the road in. I mean, we, we don't have to go... Oh, right, there's a metro. Oh, there's so much stuff. There's a metro in the way now. We could go this way, another diagonal section here. And then hook this up here. Then road connection along this way. For fuel deliveries, this is only for construction and fire engines. I think we will turn this into a smoother S-Band than it is right now. Something like that. And then over here... I don't know. This might be actually the route that goes up towards the um, the main road, gets a tunnel underneath and then hooks up into both areas. I'm not sure yet, but I would like to build towards this area. Get the road connection set up and start building the shopping center. Before we start having a food crisis in the area, we are definitely running on borrowed time here, but um, population growth is not going up anymore anyway. Whenever we run out of food or meat, there will be an increased number of shoppers here. It might actually be food. 
I guess this area will get its own supply route from this warehouse dealing with like grocers in this area. They would then be able to travel along the side roads, avoiding the main road if possible. They suddenly have the right of way. Curious. As if it is a traffic light junction. I guess the other um, vehicles are taking pity on them and letting them move through. Or there, or there was an emergency vehicle. That could also be. Could also be the case. to get the footpath tunnel constructed from both sides. Yeah, well, let's see how fast the rail construction vehicles get to it. They might all be building um, our long route still for the farming setup. Things still need construction here. I hope we can get at least the metros from the from the customs house. If not, then we actually need to get to a large customs house to pull the metros out. That'll be uh, a little bit annoying, but it just means we have to finish this rail line first, which is, I guess, kind of awkward. Looks like this road construction is done. We are out of vehicle depots of the free nature. Well, let's put a gas station over first. Approximately here. We'll let you provide fuel to this one one more time. Just in case the vehicles need to refuel right now. And then we'll move everything over to the new area. But we do have to get some um, Three vehicle depots to make that happen. Didn't oh didn't I yeah the the road cargo station right I built a new one and I wanted to move all of them over. Cargo station, unload here, wait until I load it. And I guess the other two routes too. There we go. And we'll move all vehicles out of this into this one instead. Should optimize the traffic just a little bit, and we'll get rid of this one. Not sure if it's in range of the demolition office. It's not. Barely, but it's not.
Okay. Then at some point we can upgrade this road section to asphalt to match the other platform area. Not sure why we're optimizing our lumber exports, but I mean, they are the majority of our exports. We're out of fuel here. No. You were just lacking repairs and that's why you were stuck a little bit. Definitely time to get a replacement vehicle. You've been running for over almost 6,000 kilometers. The last thing we need for the whole setup here is the electrification of the network. We should not forget about that. Which I think we will place probably next to this end station. might be blocking myself out for having the potential of building a repair station here if I build it that way. I don't know, a small repair station would exactly fit in that place now. And could handle the end station. I will move it over a little bit though. Doesn't have to be right up against that. I mean, other options include... Other options are not really viable. Up here, maybe. Somewhere along that route. If we use this one... This would be possible. Would make it hard to connect though. Uh, the area up here next to the radio station will have prime access to the transformers and that's where it should be. This should leave enough room for a repair station if one becomes necessary. It's close, but not quite. Only if I build it that way. Which I guess is fine. And then... Too short. Also, it's going down way too much. What is the actual depth that we need? Is it the lowest one? Seems like it. Seems like second lowest one. But the tunnel needs to be a certain length. So about this way, maybe. Height-wise, that seems about okay. And then from there we can connect back to our tunnels here. We'll get the shortest tunnel. This is only for service access. sure why it doesn't want me to draw this in one whole swoop. That way, I guess.
Well, it's being a little bit finicky. Oh, that's okay. We'll have a little bit of a gap here. That's okay. Okay, then we have this as a power line connection here. This could also be the road that the repair station hooks up to, I guess. If it doesn't take too much space away. We'll see if we need the repair station. Maybe it'll just work with the existing depot and this repair station, which would be the best case scenario. But a dedicated repair station for the metro line would definitely be a poss possibility. Our new technical office has been set up. Range-wise, we cover all of the town from this. So we can copy our schedule, our assignments, and redo the snowplow assignments, and then relocate all the vehicles over. I have to check what they're actually doing, if they're doing something important right now. Traffic jam. We have a vehicle repair in the construction office because they're for some reason... Oh. Okay, apparently they assigned a wooden trailer truck as a vehicle replacement here. No, wait. This is my Somaska route. I clicked the wrong building. That is on me. That is fully on me. You can wait there for a very long time. Is there any other route? Or was that the only one? Seems like it was the only one I did as a mistake. Just a small traffic jam. We're fine again. Thankfully, so Maska is pretty self-sufficient. Except it still needs food deliveries. Okay, issue fixed. Can we handle that with higher priority, please? Then I'll redo the assignments on the rail construction office to match that. I would like to actually build towards the metro platform. The long trains are neat and all, but they are not that urgent. But then again, the metro might not be that urgent. Uh, I guess we're going to try and pull a metro out of this customs house. This is probably just way, way too short. Do we have another rail connection that is longer here? I don't think so, right? This one's also a small customs house with a rail connection. Yeah, we... Oh, we have another one over here. But I guess we've already started building off of this one. So, doesn't make a huge amount of difference. Rail construction here is so slow. We just don't have the amount of workers. Most of them going to the fire station, I guess. We'll put that to a limit of 10, so more workers can go into the rail construction office. I guess we will have to use all existing vehicles to get to this area. And if we want metro... Wait, do we have... don't we have metros at the western border? That might be the solution. I'm not sure why I was going for eastern ones, but I think metros exist here. Yes, we have three metros. London, Paris and Chicago. In our case, probably the Paris one. Although it doesn't look that great. But it is really short and can hold 450 passengers. 
This one is like double the length and can hold less. And Chicago. It's shorter but can hold half. So this is definitely the one that we need. I think the eastern ones would be prettier looking, but I'm not 100% sure. I mean, at some point we can replace them. If everything is set up correctly, there shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, these ones are higher capacity. But also way long, way longer. Hmm. No, I guess the Paris ones are the best for us. We can only pull them into a... Actually, can't, can't we pull them from depot to the depot now? That should be possible. Metro. Paris. I don't think I have a shunting train in here. I mean, we could assemble a long train. It would just not be the... With the eastern... Um, with the eastern engine. Let's pull the metro over. Traffic jam. Seems to be okay. Oh no, this one is stuck trying to go to the repair station again. I'm not sure when that happens, but yeah, sometimes these vehicles get stuck trying to move to a repair station while they're out in the field and then you basically need to teleport them back home. At least you get a traffic jump warning about it. Was not a reproducible case yet and it's a very rare occurrence and I don't know why. Yeah, I guess we're also moving some of the hopper cars, that is fine too. And that's the metro that we will have. Got an MI6 helicopter that got stuck while picking up stuff from the border. Okay, weird. That sounds like that sounds like an expensive problem. Hello, Mega Monkey. We're having a few issues with trains today. Seems like the last update broke a few things, and we'll have to send in a report and hope that they can fix it. Otherwise, we won't be able to use diesel locomotives until we get the customs house to the east connected because we can't really purchase and pull them out of the customs house anymore. Customs house is too short for that. I can't see it, but it's taking up room in a helipad now and costs 1.1 million ruble to sell. And telling it to land at a specific helipad does not work, I guess. Moving it to a different helipad does not work. Uh, this is basically done with the construction, so we can have our signals back here, I guess. RPM and speed zero. Can you teleport it to the helipad? Does the helipad have the option to teleport the helicopter to the pad? Or can you assign it? Hmm. I don't know what buildings can be used to teleport helicopters, I guess. Basically reset it. Maybe if you assign it to a hospital with a helipad and the assignment works, but I don't think it does. Control H? No, I thought like the uh, bring vehicles back home button in the building. I guess it's the same. Call all vehicles home button, this one. This one teleports it right into the building. Okay, rail well, construction has started. I haven't tried that one. I don't know if it exists for helipads, I don't have one yet. It was just maybe a guess that could maybe work. The road construction here is done.
I mean, we do need to set up another settlement. I kind of need another research point. I guess 2,000 people is not the worst. Also, we do have the hotels now, I think. So we can provide more employment opportunities for our citizens. We might just go for the large hotels with lots of... Hmm. Are we going to go for the spacious ones? 150 or these ones? I think these ones are the luxury option. And these ones would be the cram as many people as you can into one space option. So employment wise these ones would be the best for our case. I do need to plan out how I want to flatten this. City is looking good now. Well, thank you for saying that it didn't look good before. I appreciate it. I'm just joking. Thank you for the compliment. So I think the hill will probably follow this wobbly road a little bit and then there will be a cliff right up against that and footpath ways up here. And this is where our hillside area is going to come back. So this will go here and actually handle the tourism area. Although, hmm, yeah, I guess that would work as long as they can walk down here into the metro platform. It's probably going to be fine. Of course, they have to walk around the uh, around the shopping center. Do I want another road here? I think I said I do. I thought maybe this one could hook up over here and be a junction point in this area. also need to have a way for the road to climb up this side and one road to come down this side to hook up here. Then a tunnel and do the same thing on the other side basically. I hope this doesn't turn into the main entrance to the town. That would be problematic. I don't know how many vehicles would try and go through here. I guess we could prevent buses and heavy vehicles, except supply. Then the supply vehicles to the area would probably go that way and into into the supply area instead of going all the way through the roundabout, so it could help. the uh, tunnel exit height and it's looking pretty steep I think the road will probably do a twist and hook up in this area but that's pretty close to the existing intersection I don't know we could have an earlier climb so it's not as low down but then the tunnel is in danger of clipping through the road again This is pretty steep. Let's see. Tunnel. That should be about it, I think. This way. Definitely have to flatten that one out. 
this will be not a... Which route will need access here? Uh, I wanted to have another connection to the main road, so the supply for the shopping center don't have to drive all the way through town to get here, but can get access. Other than that, I don't know which other vehicles would try and go here. I guess I could also connect to the heating plant area and not go to the main road. So they would turn off on this side and go through here and then enter the town. But that would cause issues with the heating pipes because they would be in the way, I would guess. So it's not really a... Um, I know which routes will go through here. I'm thinking about providing them the opportunity to go here and then figure it out for themselves. So this is basically the connection that I would make up to this point and from here hooking up into the main road. Maybe a little bit closer than that. That seems good. And then this would hook up here, so we would need to flatten out the terrain. And then get another access road maybe on this side to do the same here, which should not be as difficult. Smoothen out this one that's too steep. Sterling orange might be enough. Seems to be okay now. That's pretty good. We can leave it at that on this side. And then we have to make the connection happen here, which, as I said, should be doable on this side. I would imagine. Also, I forgot about flattening this bit. We'll have to redo the tunnel, but this road section is not quite smooth yet. So let's tuck that in a little bit. That'll probably work. Seems good. Got the tunnel back to being constructed. And then we have our other off ramp here. Okay, these are not without street lamps. We're about one and a half squares off of the main road, so this should do. And then this would hook up in here. at about a 90 degree angle, so approximately that way. And this might, to turn, might have to turn a little bit more perpendicular towards this road. So if we make the connection happen first and then take off some of this, we should be able to then hook up these road connections fairly smoothly.
and then we'll fix up the middle bit a little bit to give it a slightly better angle too. Seems all okay. There's a little bit of a kink here. Do I care that much about it? Well, yes. The kink is still there. I mean, a little bit of wobbliness is realistic, but why wobble if you can flat, you know? As the old saying goes, that's okay. We'll take off some of the road here. Snapping points are gone. And then hook it up again. That's... Let's try it this way. Yep, that's better. And this is a slightly steeper exit route. Or entrance back to the hi highway, I guess. So now we have our connection over here. The footpath for flattening this area is definitely not necessary. And we can smoothen out the terrain to be about even here. And this road does not need a footpath connection either. I'm not, not sure how far we are going to build towards this area, but this should be a, a street lamp area, I think. Okay, got a new highway access, I guess. Can go, you can come in from this road and go out this way, and the same thing on the other side. Grocers are barely able to handle the demand in the area right now. Shopping center will be necessary. I, the shopping center will also have to hold alcohol. So basically it has to be a copy of our existing shopping center on this side, minus maybe the crops. Since we have so much money now, we could take away the dummy resource and just fill it up completely. That would be 15, 30, 45, 55. They say. I wonder if someone stops using that because I've been using it once and they heard me use it. Okay, so rail construction vehicle not wanting to move in because there's a train on that side blocking the other train. Since there will only be one rail construction vehicle per side, we can have this as a block signal. And then we also need chain signals here. And yeah, the tunnel will be built by only one construction vehicle anyway. Plant stop production because of temperature, train waiting too long, we dealt with that, I assume, yeah, all of the train waiting, and something going on with the market, but who cares, we're making 20 million full lumber exports, um, yeah, I mean, we're not increasing our production, it's just the western economy is absolutely wasted. We have exported. 
3,400 tons of wood. We have been doing that... Okay, we didn't export as much last month. We've been doing that similarly in most cases. Yeah, it's just profits are pretty good. I have no idea what's going on with the market. I think I'm gonna resubmit the save game for a check because the price is just going up and up and up. I'm afraid to add more lumber buildings. We haven't we haven't touched oil though. We did not change our oil ex um, profits export whatever. What's the oil price? Oil oh oil went up to 15. Ooh. It's getting a little bit spicy there. Can we still afford these fuel imports? How's the iron ore price? Uh, not great. So we have a metro here, and we could pull that metro to a different, um, different section. So we can start assembling a metro fleet and moving it into the uh, depot over here at some point. But yeah, let's see if the rail construction vehicles can actually go through the depot. That would be nice. So the connection to the Eastern Customs House is not necessary to get metros. But to get... To get EDKs it will be. that we have a workaround for the uh, for the snapping of the bridges causing terrain clipping. Supposedly that has been fixed, I gotta try that. I think they said it would get fixed in this update. So we're gonna test that real quick. Why is there a snapping point here? Give it a test real quick. It was fairly easy to see when you drew two bridges next to each other. The first bridge was fine and the second bridge was basically clipping into the terrain. Seems like it still happens but maybe not as much. Seems pretty good. Rail bridges were pretty bad for that too. Get them to the ground. Yeah, seems okay now. We'll have to keep an eye on it, but if it happens again, we do have a workaround for that, so that will be fine. We'll bring some fuel over here. New stop, new free gas station. Start once. In the meantime, our construction vehicles can already make their way over here. So that we can flatten out the next section of uh, road and rail track. Going through here and the train track needs to go that way basically. The train needs to head... Where was it? That way. Up here. So go along the mountainside and... We can't really go through this without flattening a lot of hard terrain. But we, I guess we're gonna climb. Yeah, we were, we were gonna climb up this way and then go up along here. That's what we wanted to do. So I'll place another rail track as a reminder for this, so I know where I wanted to head.
We're going to build the shopping center. We can already start bringing resources here. It'll be a route similar to this one, but we will probably only use two vehicles instead of three. Wait, so the delivery is only two vehicles here. Okay. Do we have enough then, since we're using three vehicles to distribute it? set these percentages differently. I wanted to have a decent number of food in here in case something goes wrong. And clothing and electronics do not need to be present that much inside the shopping center. Uh, let's put that at 10 and make that 75. Approximately the same amount of clothing and electronics but a good number of food so if the warning message from the warehouse comes up we have 26 tons, tons to do something. I might have to add another vehicle add to this at some point when the food consumption goes up. But let's worry about the other one right now. Two covered hull trucks. I don't know if the vehicle replacement is still bugged. I think it said it works. I guess we're going to start setting up routes again how we're used to and see if something runs into a problem at some point. Bring food. Do not wait until I'm loaded. We don't really have an end station there, so... I guess an end station would be useful for... Before a vehicle goes into this area to pick up whatever they want or to unload. Actually, that's wrong. We're not picking it up from there. We have our storage area. We don't need it from the customs house. We need it from mm -hmm. here. That's why we built that. The warehouse has all the goodies that we need. And that way we might only need one vehicle, at least like for food. Because the delivery route is much shorter, especially when we have the road connection. We'll see. We'll send one vehicle on that. And we'll set up the other vehicle to pick up clothing and electronics and hook it over, bring it over there too. But the route needs to be named. Hellas North gets food from the warehouse. And then Hellas North gets fruit from... Or gets meat. Clothing and electronics also from the warehouse. And just constantly running routes. Not stopping anymore, just constantly running. Always moving supplies. And our refrigerated truck. And that one can wait until unloaded because we have two parking spaces here. So that one does not need to run constantly. I'm going to name it Warehouses instead of Warehouse, even though I will have to rename the other two routes again. Just so it hopefully reads like we're picking it up from the Warehouses area. Which I also spelled warehouses. Instead of with the warehouse of the shopping center in this area. 
We have no electricity here. Thankfully the freezer seems to have electricity, so at least something. But we do have to put in a substation in this area to provide electricity. I'm wondering if I should move a high voltage wire for that over and put another transformer in this area locally. This footpath can be hooked up again. Let me write down the report so I don't forget it. Without drinking water in Tabovina. Uh, you. Water. Old Town Water Treatment Plant. It does have water. You're not moving right now. And this is empty. So why are we not picking up water? Do you require repairs? You're what? You're oh, you're getting repairs right now. No resources. We will cancel the repairs and car uh, start caring about the resources. Tabovina was our farming settlement, so something is not correct here. Looks like we ran out of mechanical components, but yeah, please bring some water over here. What is the truck doing? It's only full on fabric. Oh, it's waiting. Okay. Yep, 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 my bad, my bad. Don't wait until unloaded. Go grab some more. And then wait until unloaded for the mechanical components. There you go. We ran out of materials. They will be suffering a little bit until we have water here again. But the area will fix itself relatively quickly. They do have to drive all the way into town though. Which is um, quite the distance. Maybe a water loading unloading station into a water tower could give them a little bit of safety if, in case something goes wrong. So we could put a water tower here, but I can't I can't connect the water tower directly to the substations, otherwise it counts as running water. And they will just keep wasting it. So if we had a water tower into a water loading unloading station... And then we brought water here with one truck all the time and they could pick it up from this area. That would prevent water shortages from becoming an issue in the future. I wonder if it would load water into a water tower without electricity. The water unloading station works very slow without it. Let's just see if the water deliveries catch themselves with the water truck. It is going to be a bit of a route. But you're already more, almost halfway there. Maybe I should make a water loading station in our service area. This building can also be removed now. The sewage unloading station also needed to basically go away. But we need to put a replacement in for that. Maybe this is gonna be the service area between the radio station and the courthouse up here. It would 
go off this way. Sewage unloading, water loading from this area as well. We do have a switch here, so it would be possible. And the sewage would connect into a sewage switch, which we have none of right now. This one would be freed up, this one here. Alternatively, we have one switch over here. Shame about no switch here. Oh, there's one. Never mind, I built one. So that will be possible. Sewage and water unloading in this area. Fortunately on the wrong side, but that's okay. loading unloading so we have a dedicated place for that then too and we'll take a direct connection here please another switch. I think this is just going to be service area. The town might develop in front here. There's another connection here that we can use. Let's not go too crazy with this town. We have to start moving into unexplored lands at some point. I mean we're moving and building infrastructure and all that but yeah we have to start developing. And then, I guess this one I want to keep, kind of. Never enough switches. Yeah. Never enough switches. That is true. So true, in fact, that we will place a switch here. It is just a small building, but if there is a reason to ever have another connection here, this will make it way easier to do that. I'm just trying to force myself to go out of Hellas a little bit and develop some of the countryside. I also would like to redo this this pipe here from this switch to this switch to have it a little bit sharper following the road and put another switch in. But I mean, if we can use this one. Nah, this one, this one deals with this. This one might be what we need. Not sure if it'll allow us to do that though. Okay, in general, would a connection work? Tunnel above terrain. Building in the way. And tunnel above terrain again. I think this is not enough slope anymore. So we'll just do a sewage pumping station, I think. A sewage pumping station into another switch that then hooks up into the sewage pipe. Just a small one should be enough.
We'll have to replant some trees later. I'm gonna switch here. Should be able to hook that one up now, right? Still not okay? We'll do that. Then we have two more connections on this side. Yes, we will have a switch pumping station, but... It'll work. It has three electricity connections. Do we have water again? Yes. People can't visit the hospital. We're dealing with the dehydration of our citizens in the area. Water supplies, or the water delivery should be restored. The water truck is... We have two substations here. And both of them can reach everything. So I think we have enough water supply. Getting a backup water tower might be nice, but I think I'll omit that for the time being. That was a temporary issue with the uh, repair station, which can happen. Now well, we definitely have enough repair materials again, although we do need a water delivery so the workers can work a little bit more efficiently. We also need to provide some fire engines to this fire station. Okay, road connection, plan. Along here, through this, a cut. Then let's let's get the let's get the um, the wider idea down first before we decide on a route. So in general, we would like to get to this area because that's where the bridge across is going to hook up. Bef because of this area, we need to be on. Where is it? Here. We need to go past the farming settlement, I think. This is a little bit steep, I think. We'll have this connect to the farming settlement, but then we come up here. Go along this route, cut through this terrain. And here comes a hill. A very steep one. I don't want to go around to the left, I don't think. But going around to the right also seems... Hmm. Maybe the best way is just to go straight through here with an upwards... Um, with an upwards tunnel. So, go here. Farming settlement. To the mountain, uphill, this point, downhill, along this gentle slope, into the bridge area. Or mountain pass adventure road. This is supposed to be the highway of our republic. This shouldn't follow the terrain so much as more like define the road first and then make the terrain follow to an extent. I don't want to flatten like really rocky areas, really tough areas, <coughs> but I would like to make the road the defining feature of this and the terrain to follow a little bit. Just to remove the, gra uh, the trees a little bit to show ourselves where we want to head towards. And once the vehicles have refueled, we can continue doing that. We're going to go this way, 
to the farming settlement area go past the farming settlement. There will be a bridge for the farming settlement to get across the main road. Settlement here, farming spot here. This might not be a farming spot at that point. There might be a smaller village here and a larger town here. Not sure yet. Okay, I realize my mistake. I will fix it right away. So yeah, to find the road, and then from here I guess we're going to tunnel. We're going to tunnel up to the, uh, up to the mountain top, go along the mountain top, follow maybe along here, and we might need another tunnel here. And then we should be about the same height that we need to be to get to the bridge starting point that the railroad is actually going through. Although we could have our bridge for the road go somewhere differently, I think this seems to be a nice place to follow the curve of the mountain here and then go across. So the bridge for the rail line and the bridge for the road might have might be in parallel at that point. We'll see. Follow this mountainside, and then there's the railroad over here, and the road that needs to be defined. And all of this just to get an EDK rail construction vehicle. Trying to set it up as a permanent uh, a permanent building, permanent road infrastructure right away. Seems a little bit much. Love those EDKs. Well, I think we might have to do without them for a longer time, but at least we can start developing to the towards the center of the map. We still have a ways to go. Thankfully, it's not all the way up here. It's only go across the map. Tried to allocate recently. Builds fast, but damn, it's slow getting into the site. Yeah. It's all other vehicles. The, I mean, building fast is fine. It's it's all about the resource capacity. As soon as you start getting away from the rail construction office, if they build fast and they don't have any carrying capacity, then they just use up the materials quicker, and they have to travel back and forth forward most of the time. So it doesn't really help. So I think we can probably build all the way up here. This can be a straight road section, I don't mind. And then we have to go uphill and that will probably be a tunnel. So much for a straight road. Start the next road section. 
I wish you could make a train set of them. Oh, it would be awesome if you could hook up attachments to the rail construction vehicles to give them more carrying capacity. I would definitely like that. That would be great. And then the other terraforming that we need to do is for our rail, a rail line that follows this area. So that one is supposed to... I want it to go here. I'm wondering if it might be better just going through this area. we we'll reach the hilltop here. Go through this area, go through the mountain. Another tunnel. And then we're on the flat area where we just need to hook up a bridge over here. But I think maybe the rail connection here would look fine as well. As long as we don't have to flatten too much terrain, I think we can go with that. We do have to climb, we do have to start climbing the rail line slowly up the mountain. This is the distance that our terraforming vehicles can reach right now. And if we get up here, then this is just a little bit extra. We need to, once we have the terraforming vehicles here, we can probably finish that one up. And yeah, from here, I guess we can go that way. Some more rail junctions in the future are a possibility, of course. much further with the terraforming vehicles. This will definitely need a little bit of work, but I guess instead of a mountain adventure uh, road, we will have a mountain adventure train line. I hope that is sufficient. Excellent. I will probably take out some of the kings, like this one. We could cut through the mountain a little bit more to not have a bend here. But I also don't mind how it looks, I guess. So that has been planned and it's gonna stay that way. And we'll assign it to the rail construction office when they are done with the high priority um, metro area. I guess they're not doing a lot of metro right now because they have reached the tunnel. So only one rail construction vehicle handling that right now. We'll do it high priority. Then continue construction over on that side. And the farming setup we'll do later, I think. We're gonna start running full on crops eventually, I guess. Yeah. We have one doing the metro line, we have two rail construction vehicles doing the other line. We will need one tunnel boring machine at some point. And the fourth rail construction vehicle is just gonna stay around, stick around as a replacement vehicle for now.
Okay, let's see what we get per truckload of lumber, raw lumber, truckload. We get a hundred thousand US dollars per 22 tons of wood. Seems a bit much. <laughs> I need to take a screenshot of that, that's crazy. I'm gonna post that in the Discord. Okay, let's take a screenshot of that. Let's take a screenshot of only... Only the section that matters, and I'm gonna drop that in the official Discord. Alright. Let's see if we get any comment on that. So we'll do rail construction to the west, which is the east, but you know. Once we are through this area, the bridge is the last large section that needs to be built, and then we only have a rail line to the connection over here. And this area we can also terraform. We've almost reached the end. But yeah, I, I guess the main thing here is the bridge, actually. Maybe I'm bordering a desert on that side and they love wooden furniture. True. Could be a reason. Always up for explanations that seem reasonable. Um, This is very hilly mountain. I don't think we can have a railroad going along that side. Are we really gonna run ships up here? They did modify the map in this version. On if you if you start this map now, unpopulated, this bridge does not exist. The roads are still there, but the bridge is basically removed. So you can have ships go through here. It's a little bit narrow, so for large ships I guess it doesn't matter. I think we're just gonna cut across the, the river. And worry about the rest later. If we have ships going here we have to set up the rail line at some point. But I would like to build it properly right from the beginning. But where to go where to go across here? I guess the other option is to oh I have an idea. The other option is to stay next to the uh, next to the riverside and then turn into the mountain for a for a bridge uh, for a tunnel and then come out of this with a bridge. So we tunnel into the mountain and then go up and then come over. Maybe in this area. So we go over here, we have two lanes. We have a rail connection here, we have our two lanes coming out. And they both hook up into the mountainside basically. And then we tunnel through that, go up to the elevation that we want, bridge across, potentially into another tunnel, and then go through here. But I think on this side, if we go to, if we bring the bridge up to this point, we should be able to flatten this out and connect over. So yeah, I think we'll stick at the uh, low point here, and the EDK might actually be able to build all of that without us intervening. Yeah, everything for the EDK has to happen. There is no Republic without the EDK. I feel ashamed that I haven't built a monument to the EDK yet. I wonder if there's an EDK monument.
right. We need to remove some of our free vehicle depots again. I really need ought to clean up all of the free vehicle depots and put them into correct depots. But I'm a little bit lazy. Do we really need the vehicle depot already, or can we just go along this? I think this way we will have to flatten. This is more like a road kind of thing. I mean, we could have the rail line have a small bridge along this side. That would follow the terrain a little bit more. Might look neat. One hundred and twenty-one, one I think we'll have to flatten the terrain a little bit if we really want a bridge like that. And it still happens, unfortunately. Oh well. I guess I'm just gonna get the terrain flattening brigade here. I don't need the road connection. The road connection is just here to terraform. This road is not permanent. One bit. Take down some of the trees. Go along this hillside. Follow the curves. Okay, that's a little bit much. And then we're down here. Yeah, we probably just have to flatten the terrain. Maybe we can have a curved bridge around this rocky side, so we don't have to do that. And then back over here. And then the rail line all the way here, turning right into our bridge with a tunnel. Those poor, poor vehicles. We're in terror still zero. Never mind. We're doing fine. Okay. So the rail line up to here is fine. And then here we will stick to the, about the elevation that we were, getting a rail line across the side. Merging into this, I think. Because the road doesn't really need to stay here. 
I guess it'll be, yeah, it'll be the same slope all the way across here. Then we have to stick to the left and get a turn in right for a tunnel. What a project. And once we get to the eastern side, we will replace all of our vehicles with EDKs, no matter the expense. We will pay that money. If, um, we can afford to spend 12 plus million for some EDKs. Tunnel boring machine is 14 million now almost. Inflation is kicking up a notch. And yeah, I know why I don't want that much money in the ruble department. Sitting around not doing anything, it's just going to waste. 123,000 tons of hazardous waste, only 5,000 uh, 5, US dollars. Seems fine. It's basically a bunch of mixed waste with a drop of hazardous waste in it. How's the tunnel construction? Building the tunnel exit and then laying the train track. Then a short section of tunnel, then a long section, then the exit, and then we're at the metro platform area. Metro construction will take a while. And we have to build the platforms when the trains get here, otherwise they can't keep building. And the electrification will also have to be set up before the metros actually can start running. Hopefully one of them will be enough. I don't think I will use above ground wires, I will just hook up the four connections with underground ones. If it isn't enough, then we might have to hook up another electrification here. Probably taking out these uh, train tracks. Or just putting a junction here and just hooking it up for the electrification itself. Would be a little bit of a waste, but... Hmm. Or can I hook one up before all of this gets built? If we can place one right now, that works. Might as well do that. I assume metros can run through this, right? Yeah, it's railroad or underground railroad. Presumably all the trains can run through that. But how far do we need to be away to actually get the connection in? More than that. Let's see if the connection will work first. Supposedly, yes. That should be centered, but it's too close. So this should work if it's far away enough. But now this won't. Then it won't be possible here, unless we do something weird, like put the electrification on the back side of this and use the transfer from... use that building as a transfer from um, normal train track to metro.
Not sure if that gives me enough space for the rare construction vehicles. Other option have it over here as a tunnel variant. But this area might get disconnected because there could be the potential for another metro platform here. So I don't want it to be on that, I guess. If we need more electricity, we will have to plan that when we get to it. Right now we're not planning for it, I guess. Even though I was about to. again. I mean we can have the signal on the metro area here. That is fine. Yeah sure, we'll have a section of metro track and the signal, the, the line changes here basically. Sure, that'll do. And we'll build these if we know if the rail construction vehicles can't go through the depot to build here. If they can then we don't need this whole thing. But I don't remember if they do need that or not. Supplies are present. Let's start the construction of the shopping center. And people from this area should be able to get up here to work, so... They will hopefully relieve the grocers and we can put them back down to 10 workers. Um, but we will need electricity in the area. That is still a thing. That's the thing that I still need to build. I got like on a whole other tangent when I said I needed to build that. And I don't actually remember what we ended up doing. I think it was like metro construction or something. I was wondering if I could, should get a transformer for the area and then I get distracted. Probably with the road construction with the tunnel, which is almost done. That seems likely. So I guess we will have a transformer here. A high voltage wire leading to this area. Don't think I need a switch, just a transformer. I think. But then again, we yeah, we do have a switch here and a transformer, so maybe I don't need one. Mm, this is already used up pretty much. We'll, we'll put down a dedicated transformer behind the train depot. Can we get a smooth corner for that, please? Yeah, thank you. But then again... Why are you like 
that. I guess the metro platform here is in the way, so let's just go up to here. And then hook it up to about here. the footpath tunnel in the way. Fair. Should be okay. Not yeah, sure. We'll place that, but pause it so it doesn't get accidentally built. Okay. Hopefully, we'll get the shopping center soon. Just need to finish the road construction, after which we can also hook up the sub substation for construction. We will need forklifts in the forklift garage, we will need to bring fuel here. We probably will set up a gas station here as well, for vehicles leaving and coming in. Hopefully that won't create unnecessary traffic to the area. I want a gas station there. Not really. It could clog up this junction with a lot of traffic, just going here, refueling and leaving again. But I do need fuel for the um, for the forklift garage. How many forklifts do we here have here? Two, right? Yeah. So I have bought two too much right now. Actually, I'm just going to get four forklifts in either. Some of them might get repairs, some of them might get replaced at some point, and then we have a little bit of a shortage of vehicles before the other one travels all, all the way over here. Just to be safe. Signs on these. Anyway, I will be fine the road 
as an entrance for us. As soon as the tunnel is done, only pavement needs to be laid down and flattened and then we're good to go. Why are... Okay, there's no water truck here, but all of the waste trucks are currently busy. I feel like we might be running close to the capacity of our waste storage. Maybe not. This is also empty, basically. I mean, once it starts happening, it will go fairly quickly. The cinema's pretty much full. We will have to have another cinema in the area for our tourist area and the residents in that location. Probably next to the metro platform. Not here because of the... well, the helicopters could be on that side. Yeah, we'll see. It's impressive how... It was relatively easy to retrofit the metro line in here, I gotta say. terraforming vehicles to this location. I can't keep terraforming that way. I need to look for the free vehicle depots and get them removed. These are all proper depots. There's a proper depot. There's two free ones. Closest gas station is over here. Hmm. So this area is not going to be used for metro then. We'll build something else. There'll be a free vehicle depot. We have one for the road construction over here, we have one on the eastern border for the same task. I guess it might be easier going through the list of buildings. It's not of customs. That one can go away. Remove the road, but not the depot. Okay, road depot please. All map. Staralenia, customs. Sure, let's take a look. That one was only necessary for the beginning here. I think that one can also go away. We'll remove the road pieces later. This one is necessary, let's just open these up. Now we can remove the road. 
Hellas North. That's where we're heading vehicles to right now, and the other one is not of. It's our road construction project and bridge starting point, road depot, is the one from the eastern border. We will need both of those. So now we have some free vehicle depots available again. Until we don't. Got to flatten the area out behind the shopping center. And on top of that will be our tourist area. So there might also be a road connection to that. Because this is basically our hills area up here and I don't want to go all the way to the, the tunnel entrance on that side to bring resources from here to the tourist area. Gravory Cliffs could turn into a lookout post at some point. But more likely it's uh, gonna be Kirarush Peak. Because we already have one over there. Not quite at the top, but fairly close. And the fuel for this. Who is refueling this one? Old Town. Gas Station 3. You're not waiting until unloaded. This is Gas Station 3. It seems like it's not really running full. Might be because of all the construction traffic in the area. Or might need another refueling vehicle. If we want to extend the uh, the route along all of this. Ooh, uh, I guess the old town traffic is probably not as busy. I know, that's the same route, never mind. You already have two vehicles. I wonder if they should copy the color scheme if it's the same vehicle, but that might be a bit difficult. Bring some fuel over here too, please. You already have two vehicles, hopefully it'll be enough. The gas station runs out of fuel and causes issues. There will be problems. But it should be a slow process that is noticeable. It shouldn't collapse everything at the same time, I think. But you never know. Two more deliveries of concrete and we'll have our shopping center. A W50 road crane providing excellent assistance in construction of this building. And there it is, our new shopping center. 75, uh, 15 and 10, I think. Unload into here, please. Just gotta wait for the electricity. The forklifts are already here, but we need our fuel and we need electricity to refuel them but the forklift garage does have electricity already it's just that the just the shopping center that doesn't we'll restrict the amount of workers in these areas again and then hopefully it will it will be enough then we'll have a lot of extra capacity for residential development here when we build the hotels and the hotels that won't function right away, but we'll build the hotels, we'll build more housing, we'll set everything up, we need 2,000 more citizens, and then we can get the research for Western tourists, which will uh, right now come by bus, I guess, from the border along our main road, which is very nicely cleared most of the way. But in the future, there could be a rail line bringing them close to, I guess, so Muska, unloading them here and we'll carry them into town via our transportation route that we built up here along this path maybe. I don't think we'll have a rail line going directly into Hellas Old Town. It's not really set up that way. 
But you know, you, you never know. Could always re redevelop everything. Our sewage unloading station has been built. We have our water loading station. I think everything is almost ready. Still need to get the sewage pump in place. And then we can start telling our vehicles that are currently assigned to this unloading platform to go to this one instead. And similarly pick up water from that platform. Which will be all of the technical services from all towns outside of Hellas. The ones inside Hellas could theoretically still pick up from the main supply source. We're at 100 cubic meters of water consumption. Our water well supports 215. The big water treatment plant supports 300. So we still have a, a lot of capacity. It's mostly the water network that I'm worried about because we only have three pipes and I'm not sure they're balanced in the way where it will work fine without issues. I'm wondering if I should set up another water purification area just for the tourist area because that will be a lot of extra people. We seem to be having some water supply issues in the area. I had a little bit of a moment where the water pressure dropped, but not sure why there's a decent amount of water going here. Not sure why it's red. Why is it red? I mean, it's super high water pressure. Red in this case is okay. 40 cubic meters out of that pipe. We're combining the old town water with the high pressure water from university into a new water tower to balance the fact that we don't know which area is going to use up the most. But yeah, maybe our hotel area will get an, a dedicated water setup. We will... I guess I wanted to run the water from this area after the water tower at the end. So if we have water issues, the tourists will tell us pretty quickly. Okay, another traffic jam. So this is the same situation again that killed Hellas for a bit. I'm going to save that and report it because it's a snowplow getting stuck behind uh, fuel trucks. That is what... That is what caused the traffic jam inside Hellas when... We lost over 7,000 people. And maybe it's, maybe it's because the collision hitbox for the snowplow is slightly larger. Also, why are you going to the customs house though? That's incorrect. Oh no, you're Colata, never mind, you're right. Customs house for Colata is fine. Yeah, that's... I don't think any other vehicle gets stuck, it's only the snowplows. Otherwise we would have had trucks already getting stuck here, the long trucks that are doing oil export for a whopping 260 US dollars. I need to put that in perspective. Another screenshot. There we go. Oh, let's make a whole screen screenshot. Why not? Kind of crazy. Yeah. 
I think they have an IKEA open that is very successful. The foreign manpower is getting a little bit expensive on the eastern border. But we can deal with that, that's fine. We just move over some steel and it'll be fine. Just bring some steel from the west to the east, I think we can afford that. And I guess you can bring more of the train cars into this depot, so we can assemble the, uh, the long train at some point. This menu could be a little bit larger. Have more lines, I guess. How's the metro construction going? Tunnel boring, short section, sure. Small construction, then the long section, and then the uphill tunnel, and then we're out. The depot is already in place. Wait, two, four, that's the same amount of lines in here, seven lines. Then we'll see if everything works. If we can go through the, the depot? I don't think so. And at that point we will have to build all of these. We also need to be aware that the trains might want to go from one line to the other. Because there's only one... I guess no, it doesn't matter. They go in here and they come out the other way. That's fine. But we don't need, we don't need a junction at all. The outgoing trains might need one. Like, this area might need one. Where they come out on this side and they would like to go to the... Actually, does that matter? No, it doesn't matter. Each each construction train has its own lane. It does not matter. I hope the metros aren't too long for that. Too long for what? The metros will come out of the depot and the length doesn't matter for the metro. There's no... Because the metro or any train will disappear into the depot, it doesn't stick out the other side. So there is no length constraint here. This should be fine. I like how the EDK doesn't fit into the small construction office. Well, you see, they park it like this. There's a snake inside, so it does actually fit. You just don't know what the train line looks inside. It goes all the way like that. And there's two stories, so it goes up and does the same thing again. And it turns around and goes out. There's so much space in that building. That's why the doors are that high. Because it can go all the way underneath the roof. Still no electricity, still waiting on the wire to be built. We have the transformer, but not the wire yet. And this hasn't been assigned yet because it has been paused, so let's build it. Shopping center at most, 35 people please. Wild, yeah. It's a very, a very rare fact. Not many people know about that one. The train yard is very busy. I like it. Also a lot of vehicles going back and forth on the main road. Imagine if we had 800 personal cars running around. Imagine if we had personal cars where you could say you are allowed to work in a town that is like 5 kilometers away or further and you could actually use this highway for personal cars. I might have to try the mod where personal vehicles have like a longer distance one day. I wouldn't mind if it would just be assignment. I guess we could have we could we could fake it. We could have a bus route of personal cars that run all the way around. The upside of that would be that these vehicles would then also get automatically replaced with the replacement menu and we don't need a car dealer. And if we pick a bunch of different vehicles of different speeds they would also start overtaking each other. 
I might I might do that. I might just try it. We don't have another large town yet, but once we do, probably farming spot or farming settlement would be another large town with a medical university, I think. Once we have that, we can have a have a bunch of personal cars running in a bus route along that. And they would do the same thing, except that they would be way more efficient because they would carry four people instead of one. So I guess that's how we're going to do uh, personal cars with bus routes. And then the whole the whole highway will be filled with them. Could lead to issues where the vehicles trying to go onto the highway don't actually have the chance to do that anymore. Like here, if there's always personal cars going through, then we might need traffic lights here. But it might work. And then have them go around the roundabout to kill all of the town. Before that we will need the metro, so the bus network can be thinned out a little bit. Then one route to Old Town, one route to University, all of them through the main road into another large town. We'll need a snowplow in this area at that point. Technical service in the area with the construction offices over here being able to repair them. Yep, yeah, that seems reasonable. I should do that right now. I should get a technical service up here. Doesn't need electricity, they can refuel elsewhere, the repair station will keep them repaired. Yeah. Road clearing on our main highway, I guess. And that should clear the road pretty much most of the way. Then farming settlement, there would be a town at least here with a technical service clearing all of that road. And then we could have a transportation route of a bunch of personal cars to, sim to simulate personal uh, traffic. Okay, our terraforming vehicles here have arrived. It's very hard to see next to the river in the snow. But let's try and get the rail line set up. I should wait for the snow to go away. It's really hard on the eyes. And then I think here we will probably have a bridge because this is hilly, ter uh, rocky terrain and really hard to terraform. So a curved bridge al around this way, connecting into here, and we keep going. can't see any of the lines. Okay, there we go. So it looks like we're at the point where we can rejoin here and use the existing network. Go further down. Did we really go up or did I just miss a spot where the level changed a bunch? Oh, we're going up here. We're not going down. Never mind. So this goes up and then back down. Hmm. We're going to change that. Uh, this is very rocky, never mind. I missed that. We're not gonna do that. We're just gonna follow the hill slope. 
It's very hard to see in the winter. All right, so this would be the rail connection. Going through this area into a curve here, into a slight section of straight line, curve, bridge across. So a truss bridge with a corner. Excessive clipping again. We'll use our workaround for that. It didn't clip on the other side. So we'll just not snap this together. Doesn't like that. terrain clipping here. Why game? play metro track. Nope, oh, that's normal track. I can't see a thing. Up the hill. Down the hill. Looks good, right? The white planned rail track looks absolutely perfect. I can't see a thing. I'm gonna go back here when the snow is gone. This is ridiculous. I mean, the snow should start melting right now. Oh no, it's January, sorry. We're not in February yet. It'll take a little bit longer. <laughs> white square, yeah. Yep. It's a bit much. Gas station is empty. So many construction vehicles, it's awesome. We don't have a waste storage set up for this area, so they are basically spending too much time traveling their waste trucks back and forth. I think for this one we only need one waste storage. But that's going to be tricky with the hazardous waste. I think we'll have two waste storages again. Also on the outside of town here. Power lines a little bit in the way. We'll place it out here. in the way. And we'll place it. Wait, I can just place it by not holding control. Then it'll create a connection for me. Okay. 
So the waste will be dropped off in here and there will be one truck for hazardous waste and one truck for mixed waste sitting in this spot. Transferring it to our uh, rail yard. I haven't done that for any of our town villages, I guess. I mean, you don't need it because you have the waste storage right here. But you might benefit from that. Custom waste truck, yeah. We'll build one here. We'll build one of those setups here too. I think it makes sense. I should get used to those. They make waste transportation really, really efficient, especially with roads. And then we'll get one dump truck per type of resource, so hazardous and mixed. Park them both in here, and the unloading platform is for, I guess, one hazardous waste here, the rest mixed waste here. And if we have too much wa uh, mixed waste, we can get another truck parked there. And they will, their only job will be to haul it over to the train station for disposal. Hello Berliners, welcome. You're arriving when I was about to shut down the stream because it's 19 o'clock, 7 p.m. And I think I need to get some food because I intend to stream more later today. I've been doing a lot of infrastructure construction. And we're slowly, very slowly getting to the point where we might be able to hook up the trains together. I'll have to build another train loop here to get on top of the hill. More. Well, more, but I need food. I need food and I need a little bit of a break. The goal is coffee and cigarette with me and the friends. Amicable. Very nice. Appreciate it. Um, still without fuel. Where are the fuel trucks? I guess the fuel trucks aren't keeping up and... Hmm. We have to put the forklift garage earlier. Otherwise it won't get fuel supply. That's a good indicator that we don't have enough trucks on that route. Fuel old town. Well, we can do that. This one is a free route. This one is a free route. Seems fine. You made a gravel highway and it works? Nice. Not very communist. Get a champagne bottle ready to smash when the lines are joined. Ah, uh, hmm. The rail lines, maybe. It's, it is a it's kind of mega project connecting all together. And also, we can buy trains and, well, the EDK from the from the east. It might have been easier going over here and setting up a, a harbor area and then buying it by ship. But I do like the train line going across the map more. Made the highway with traffic signals. Awesome. Traffic signals are a good thing. So vehicles don't slow down when they don't have to. We 
don't need traffic signals here, this is only for construction, otherwise the highway is pretty much signaled up. Quickly, for the beginning I mean, yeah, gravel goes quick. As long as you have a good amount of dump trucks and no traffic jam at the border, it goes fairly quickly. Okay, a train full of 3.2 million US dollars worth of lumber. Twice. We have a third of a billion US dollars. And it's still going up. All vehicles follow the traffic signals, but the snowplow not. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Well, the snowplow is blocking our um, gas stations too, and causing the death of 7,500 people. I guess they were really unhappy with their uh, work situation at that point. So, this will have to be f a little bit more room for this area because I think there's more housing to be planned here as well. But I would like to get to the um, our, our terra terraforming vehicles have arrived. I would like to get to this area so I can prepare this one. So I think we're gonna go all the way up to the road here. And then here we'll leave some room for more residential buildings. We have to be careful with this because we need a tunnel or a bridge to connect up to. But for the time being we should be able to just flatten this out some and we can worry about a connection later. So we have the height down at least that we want this area to be. Town hall answer? No, okay. We will put no snowplow service in this direction and he made like home and sims. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Plow? You got a Mr. Plow in your town. Excellent. So, the general concept. Get footpath connections up here and develop the hotels on that area and use this road to get to this point and then come down here with another junction I think because we will deliver the tourists to this area via this um, road connection I think also it looks like we don't have too much traffic through this area even with the highway connection over here some vehicles still prefer it the heating bus stop for example likes going here from Klebriersk going towards the old town that way, which is nice because it relieves the traffic in this, uh, in this area. See you, Spanish have in humor and use in standard. Yeah. I also sometimes understand humor. This vehicle will get, will get replaced soon. These ones can be put down back to 10. This one still seems a bit stressed, but also down to 10. Because this one has been relieved, so this one should also have less stress and we will have more people going into this shopping center. Which uh, will need a garbage container, otherwise this will be a nightmare of pollution spilling out into our republic from this area. Please build this quickly. Thank you. And 
don't think the waste storage will take very long. So we should be able to hook those up fairly soon too. But yeah, I think I will take a break now because I do need to get some food. We're only 2,000 citizens still away from another research point as soon as we start developing the hotels. I think we're gonna get there pretty quickly. We've set up the metro line to be built. Uh, next time we will also see how how far that will get. Since we've built the heating pipe here already, I guess we can also build that one. And this one I don't know yet. That one is still open. How we will hook up the last heating pipes. But we accidentally built all of these, which I guess is fine. Berlin is having a kebab in Germany too. Yeah, we do have enough. We have a lot of kebab. Anyway, as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the stream. As I said, I might be back later, maybe in about two hours, depending on what goes on. I wish you all a good Saturday evening, wherever you are. Take care, all the best, and as always, maybe I'll see you next time.